Ah, you're back. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Lee the Warlord. Moving on to Kisuke Urahara, my boy. Kisuke, the mysterious owner of Urahara's shop, smiles fearlessly as he maneuvers freely in close and far-reaching battles. He is another mid-tier ease of use character, and he doesn't have very much attack strength but his technique, attack, and speed are all pretty average, but his toughness and his reach are very above average, so that's interesting. He's going to be a semi-zoning tank kind of character. I thought more so on the DPS side. It kind of makes sense when we get into his abilities. The first thing that they show us is what they call his special flash attack, and that is similar to Byakurai, an attack has a wide attack range and can be used to check an opponent at a distance, thus hindering their move. But they don't have that listed in here as one of his skills. So this unique skill is different than what's listed as his special flash attack. He takes his stance, block the opponent's close combat attack, and then counterattacks with a slash forward. That is not the same as this poke that they have as the first thing here. It's kind of just literally just a little poke. So what they actually do show as his first attack that we have matching here is the spiritual pressure move one. They call it Razor Red Princess, but it's Kamasori Binahime. Maybe that's what that translates to. Maybe these are actual words, like, and then and this is the direct translation. And an attack that sends a bloody slash forward, it has a slow startup and cannot be incorporated into combos, but it hits many times. It can also cancel out the opponent's bullets. So, this is not something that you can use in the middle of or to end combos. It's more so a neutral type move that you would use to better assist closing in on the opponent while they're doing whatever it is that they're doing. Because if you're fighting a zoner, it can cancel out their attacks but you still do have to charge it up. It's not that long of a charge, to be completely honest. Maybe once you get used to playing the game, that'll seem like forever, but it's not that long of a charge. His next one is called, Are You Prepared in the trailer? But here it's just called, Are You Ready? For a certain period of time, you'll go all out just a little. There will be less gaps in your actions and your mobility will increase dramatically. So your speed will probably get maxed out and your attack strings have less gaps in them for defensive actions to take place so it's more true combos perhaps and maybe that even makes the binahime attack comboable but that's neither here nor there i don't think that'll actually happen and then he has his awakening which is his shikai binahime where he just awakens it his abilities are enhanced by unlocking his shikai binahime the speed at which the reverse gauge fills up is increased making it easier to create create advantageous situations by using reverse actions frequently. So we haven't seen really what reverse actions he has or what his reverse gauge does for him in particular, but we do see how it speeds up the combo strings and everything like that. So he does get a lot faster. That's a very interesting character. And I wonder how many characters total we're going to get DLC included because no, if they're only going up through the Arankar arc, like Waco Mundo and everything like that, then we probably won't see a lot of the end of series Bankais and attacks and everything. But I will say with Kisuke, I do hope that they change the sound design for his attacks to match the screaming noise that it makes in the show. Because looking at back at some of the Kisuke highlights, that was one of the things I thought was super duper cool was just how his attacks actually sounded. But anyway, Going into the next character, we have Byakuya, and Byakuya is not very fast, and he doesn't hit very hard, which is surprising to me, but he's very, very technical, which is apparent. He's very tough, and he has crazy range. For him to have the same range as Uryu seems a bit off to me. I don't think that that's true. I think his range is probably closer to one notch below, but... 
Once again, he's another mid-tier ease of use character, a technique type that changes the distance depending on the fighting style. The captain of the sixth division who cuts down the enemies with Zen Bone Sakura. And then the first thing that they show us from Byakuya is actually, yes, his unique skill, the Zen Bone Sakura seal and release. So Zen Bone Sakura switches between two forms, sealed and released. In the release state, it can handle long ranged attacks and deal with the opponents outside of its range. It is important to use different forms depending on the compatibility with the opponent and the situation and to always maintain an advantageous distance so yeah that's just his stance change between the two closer range and longer ranged attacks and attack patterns second thing they show us is his spiritual pressure technique one the release symbol zakra and the sealed symbol zakra it attacks in all directions with invisible branching blades the performance of the technique changes depending on the form when it is activated when released it pulls the opponent and when sealed it blows them away so depending on what stance you have taken this move changes to either a get over here or a get off me so that's very very cool the fact that we have stance characters is just very interesting to me in this game this type of game i don't know many arena fighters that have stance characters like that but it kind of makes sense when you think about the nature of how they fight each other and then the next technique that they show us is his spiritual pressure too that won't touch me and here it's just called out of reach while blocking the opponent's attack counter attack with blue fame fall which is the same thing that rukia had there is an invincible period when this is activated oh so they don't actually say that in the trailer but this move has invincibility so it's a counter and maybe it has a little bit of a dp no it, it's it's just a raw counter i think that comes out and then he shoots that little blue flame ball at him and then his awakening is his bankai Zenbon zakura kageyoshi by unlocking Zenbon zakura kage and he is fixed in a form that excels in mid-range combat while his mid to long range techniques are strengthened he is weak in close quarters combat so he needs to keep opponents at bay so very interesting the fact that you lose your ability to pick and choose what distance you want to fight at but the distance that's preferred for you to fight at is strengthened tremendously is what that sounds like so he is going to be a hard one to deal with unless the character you have has a lot of counters on them and speaking of counters we have yoroichi and she is the last character in this video her ease of use is mid-tier as well. Her speed is off the charts. She's primarily technique, very squishy, does not attack hard, and she is okay when it comes to reach. A free-spirited Shunshin who is skilled in fast walking and close quarters combat and fights as she pleases. Let's see what the first thing at Dark Sword Transformation, I think that's probably that Ankin thing. It is the Ankin slash Flashbreaker. It is possible to use different actions with different performances by normal input and long press input. So by just pressing the button or pressing and holding it, you'll do the two different things. Normal input will fire the little Dark Sword forward and long press will input will spin in place and parry the opponent's attack so it's the poke if you just press it normally but if you hold it it's a counter attack to where you do a spot dodge and then that spot dodge may be pretty interesting because if you could spot dodge and punish on somebody mid combo so this is the thing if they whiff how punishable are their attacks because if we're talking like they miss one attack, but they're still positive, they're still plus on the next time they press a button, that move is kind of stupid unless you can spam it. But if it's kind of like big swing and big drawback to that swing and you're, you're minus on all your moves, then this is going to be a lot deadlier than it seems. The next thing that they show us is her spiritual pressure move one, Baco, they call it explosive stake. It performs a long distance charge attack. And if it hits, it will perform an additional attack with keto style white attack it is powerful to use it to avoid the opponent's attack by stepping then close the distance in one go and counter attack in the trailer they just say it's a rushing attack and good for countering and closing distance so yeah she just charges in and smacks them 
and that smack with the actual hits that come out afterwards i think only comes out yeah if the attack lands the next thing that they show us is the aboro neko the obscure cat this is her counter where she kind of just goes a little woozy the user takes a low stance while leaving an after image on the spot and if the opponent attacks while in that stance they will counter attack with rapid succession of attacks she goes into a counter attack stance and if you hit her she counter attacks you pretty straightforward honestly the attack itself is very very flashy her awakening they call it instant by activating shunkin uh, her performance is enhanced her movement speed and damage dealt to opponents are particularly enhanced allowing her to corner the opponent more quickly yeah and it does look like her attacks get a lot faster so that speed is going to be off the charts her reach might increase a little bit and her attack power is probably going to go here so yeah that's going to be very very cool to see in real time yeah guys if you guys like that one definitely leave a like a comment and subscribe stick around for more bleach content once this game comes out you know i am going crazy it's been real it's your boy lee the warlord and i'm out of here peace